Hello all, my name's Hannah and welcome to the Paper Pad. Happy Saturday. In this video I'm going to be making a envelope flip book, but I'm going to arrange my envelopes in a slightly different manner than the typical envelope flip book. Right now I've already made my envelopes out of white cardstock using my envelope punch board by it, I don't remember the brand, but I'll link it for you in the description if you're interested. And I covered some of the flaps with different papers because it's going to show. So I used just parts of a magazine. It's the one you're looking at right there, but it's all words, so it looks a bit like newspaper actually, but it's from a magazine. And some brown paper from a brown paper bag for the other two. Right now I am just gluing my envelopes together and as you can see I lined these up so that the flap would be glued onto the other so it makes a diamond shape. The way I arranged my envelopes is my first two made a book like shape. And then I wanted these outer two to be facing in. That way it creates, so it's one page and then you unfold it and it's two pages and then you unfold it again and it's four pages. So that might not make a lot of sense, but you'll see what I'm saying later. And there you go. So now I think you can understand what I did a little better. So that's the cover. And then you fold it and it's those two, and then it's four pages. Now it's time to decorate the flipbook a little bit. I have more brown paper that I'm going to put on the front and the back. I have to say, I loved this nail. I love the way it turned out. It's probably my favorite I've made in a while. It was just so pretty. And I went for a slightly different style than what I normally do. It was a lot of more neutral tones, more than my usual look. Normally I go for like, oh, it's pretty and it's fun and bright, but this was a very moody sort of flip book. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to name it because it was kind of coffee themed and it was also kind of book themed. So who doesn't love a coffee book themed snail mail? These pretty chai lattes is probably what I think they are. I don't know, the pretty images came out of a magazine and I think there was a recipe with them, but I didn't really include that. And I thought that they were so elegant, so I cut them up, that way I could have one on each side. This bench, surprise, surprise, is also from a magazine cutout. I believe this was actually in like some sort of Hobby Lobby or Michael's magazine. I'm not exactly sure, but basically this bench was for sale. I just cut it out and used the image because look at how pretty it is. I love using magazine clippings because people work to make them so elegant and pleasing to the eye and therefore they basically do all my work for me and I just have to glue it down. I need to mention that basically everything in this mail is reused. I hardly used any of my actual stationery or any of my other craft supplies. This is a little sketch that I did. Please don't go, oh, you're so good at drawing or anything like that because I assure you, I am not. 
I'm good at copying a picture. So I found a pretty picture on Pinterest probably, and I copied it out and I thought that it was a really elegant sketch and that it would work well with my sort of vibe, my theme for this mail. And I had never used a sketch before in a pen pal letter, or at least not in this way, so I thought that it would be a really fun, um, a fun new thing to try. So I would recommend you try using a sketch. I have also recommend sending little doodles in my other video. I will try and link it for you. Something's beeping. I will try and link it for you in the description below, but it's different things you can send to your pen pal. And in that, I mentioned sending little doodles and drawings. So here you go. Here's one. This box is full of stamped images. I put my show on one evening and I just stamped out a bunch of my favorite clear stamps on white paper and then more brown paper bag paper whatever that is called craft paper i think i'm not sure in brown ink and then in a purple ink which looks blue under this light but is actually purple As far as goodies go, I wanted to keep this mail pretty flat, so I'm taking a little clear plastic bag and I'm filling it with some different stamped images and then I add a few other random embellishments and little flat doodads into that. I tucked a little crochet flower into one of the pockets and now I'm going to make a washi tape sample for my pen pal.
this is a mini journal or a little mini booklet that I made. I'm thinking about doing a DIY journals and booklets and such video soon, so look forward to that. Next, I'm gonna decorate some paper for my letter. I really like the way that these turned out. It's probably my favorite that I've made in a long time. Like I said, I just loved everything about this mail. It all seemed to work out so perfectly. Last but not least, I made a little question and answer booklet just on some scrap paper that I had laying around. I'm currently dipping the edges of my questions in ink, that way it looks a bit more distressed. And then on the right are the questions that my pen pal sent me. So it was a this or that chart, so I just filled it out and circled the ones that I want and I'm going to send it back to her. The pen I'm using is a Papermate Flare pen, and it's probably some of my favorite pens I have ever used. I have a whole bunch of them, and I probably need to use them more. So I will try and link to those in the description below if you're interested. They have a whole bunch of different colors and packs, so you can definitely get ones you want. Again, I'm not sponsored, but some of the links will be affiliate links, just so you know. That little circle is a bunch of washi tape that I stuck on paper and then I traced out a circle and cut it out. So really simple, but it looks great and if you are short on scrapbook paper, that can be an excellent alternative.
Now to finish up this project, I went in and I wrote different quotes from some of my favorite books. The cover said, hey there, but the upstrokes were really thin, so you couldn't hardly see them. Here I wrote letter with my letter from my pen pal. And I have some goodies for you in the middle. And then on the right, I have the opening quote from Pride and Prejudice and a quote from Anne of Green Gables. I also wrote a quote from Little Women, which states, I'd rather take coffee than compliments right now, from Amy March. Absolutely an amazing quote. And that is going to be the one that's written on the page right there. Thanks for watching till the end. This is Hannah signing off.